Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favourite freshwater schooling fish, the Glorite Danio, as well as going over how to care for them and how to breed them. Just like the rest of the Danio species, they are fast and active, and for that reason, it's better to keep them in a tank at least 80 centimetres long. In a bigger tank, you can have more fish and therefore see better schooling behaviour, which is one of my favourite things about this fish. In the wild, Glorite Danios come from rocky streams in Myanmar, so they'll do well in a hill stream setup with decent flow, but they also look really, really good in a planted tank against a black background. Their colours really stand out. Just like the rest of the Danio family, Glorite Danios are also egg scatterers and are pretty easy to breed. So now I'll show you how to breed them. Use a tank longer than 45 centimeters since they're an active fish and need space to swim. I then covered the bottom of the tub with java moss and leaf litter. This isn't for the adult fish, but it will help the fry whenever they hatch. Then cover it with a mesh. Big enough so the eggs can fall through, but small enough that the fish can't get under it. Glow like Danios spawn in groups, so I moved four males and two females into the tank. I'm using a heater to keep the water around 23 degrees and a cycled sponge filter from another tank. I added floating plants to make them feel more comfortable. I also did 50% water changes with colder water every day. When they spawn, a male and a female will do a roll together and if you look closely enough you'll see a puff of eggs being released and hopefully the majority of them will sink down through the mesh. Adding an extra air stone can help, as the increased oxygen and higher flow can sometimes trigger them to spawn. After a few days, I moved them back to their tank, and one or two days after I took them out, fry started to appear. Because of all the java moss and leaf litter, there's plenty of infusoria living in this tank, so I actually don't need to feed them anything extra apart from what's already living in the, in the water but microworms or baby brown shrimp would be good things to feed them. They grew pretty fast and within a couple of weeks they were big enough to go into a breeder box in my tank and they were eating flake food crust up easily. Before I bred them I wasn't sure why they were called glow like Danios but from this stage until they got a bit older it was pretty obvious since they have the orange stripe down their side just like glow like Tetris. They love playing in the current and from about one month old I noticed the blue stripe pattern starting to appear on their side. I find them really interesting to watch, especially how well they school and how active they are. But if you look closely they have little barbels at the sides of their mouths which I think is a really cool detail as well. Finally, after about two to three months, they were fully grown and ready to go back into their tank with their parents. I was sad to take them out of my tank that's in my room, but it's nice to have them in a big school. These Danios are a really active, colourful, peaceful addition to any community tank, and they can even live well with shrimp. 
They are 100% my favorite schooling fish and I will definitely keep them in any big tank in the future.